Hey YouTube, what is up? JR here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove carrier bloatware on your Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4 g In order to start to remove the carrier bloatware, your phone needs to be rooted. If you want to root your phone, I would suggest you watching my video in the description below on how to root your phone. And the second thing you need is to have super user permissions. Normally, when your phone is rooted, you would have super user permissions, such as having an app called Super User. As you can see here, I have an app that has super user permissions for two apps that I use and another thing you will need to have is an app called titanium backup this app essentially allows you to remove the carrier bloatware as you can see here this is going to be access this and it shows you all the things on titanium backup what it can do so those are the things that you need to have so the apps that I decided to remove the first one we're going to remove is Nova 2 HD, which is a game. We're going to remove NAS Sprint and NASCAR. We're going to remove Google Play Books, Google Play Magazine, Play Movies and TV, and which all those apps you could also download off the Google Play Store if you decide that you wanted them again. But these ones here, the Sprint ID, which is if you only have Sprint, which we have Freedom Pop, so you wouldn't be needing this Sprint Mobile Wallet was actually discontinued earlier this year so it's not essential as well the Sprint Music Plus was also discontinued Sprint Radio was also discontinued and merged with another app which is now another popular radio app and Sprint TVs and Movies does not work because you're with Freedom Pop and Sprint Zone as well because you don't have a Sprint account if you know your phone is rooted you can uh, finish the steps that I'm about to show you Step one is that you need to have this app, Titanium Backup. It's free off the Google Play Store. Once you have this app installed, you just simply want to open it. Step the user agreements and whatnot. And once it, uh, you want to access it, you want to give it root permissions, such as here. And you want to go under this option called Backup and Restore. Once you click that, you scroll down to find the ends, and we're going to remove Nova. And once you see here, it gives you an option to back up, freeze or uninstall it. You just simply want to click uninstall. And once it uninstalls, it's going to have to give you a warning that there's no backups of this version. You can make a backup. I suggest you to make a backup, but for me personally, I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to click the yes button here. And it says that it will uninstall the package and you will need to uninstall it. Just click yes. And as you can see, it's uninstalling the application. And it's let me know that the install was successfully done. So what you need to do now is find the NASCAR app as well, which is right below it. So I just want to click uninstall here. And you want to uninstall this app as well, because I'm no longer into NASCAR, or never really was. So just click uninstall for the same things and wait for it to get grant user permissions. Click yes, you want to un uninstall it. Click yes again as well. And it's uninstalling the app. And it says there's no current backup, just click yes as well. And it uninstalled. Now the next thing we're going to do is before we move, remove the Google Play books, just go under the Sprint ID because I found all these ones here. Just want to click uninstall. You want to click yes. Click yes again. And it's going to un uninstall Sprint ID. Okay, now the Sprint Mobile Wallet as well. Let's just click uninstall. Okay, click uninstall again. You want to give it user permission, so click yes. Do you want to uninstall? Uninstall, so it's uninstalling the Sprint Mobile Wallet. Okay, then let's go into the Music Plus. Let's uninstall that.
how to give it its time. Click uninstall again. Click yes. Click yes again. Okay. And then let's scroll down to Sprint Radio. Click uninstall as well. Okay, I want to give that user permission to uninstall as well. Okay, now let's go under to Sprint Zone and uninstall that as well. Uninstall. Now this, by doing all these uninstalls, it frees your device from having uh, resources such as RAM. It also frees up, freezes up your internal space, which is a nice thing as well. And it also removes it because you wouldn't be needing it and it consumes space on your phone. So I personally don't like having a lot of bloatware on my phone if I don't use it. So it's a nice thing that I'm able just to remove it. So let me go under here, the Sprint TV as well, and remove that. So I'm going to click uninstall. And wait for it to grant user permissions on that as well. And click yes. Click yes again to grant the permissions. And as you can see, it's uninstalling that as well. Now some apps may vary on how much time it takes to uninstall depending on how big the package size was. As you can see all those other apps uh, did that so much uh, in more time, uh, it did that really fast. But this app is that it's a big app so it's going to take longer to uninstall and remove all the create short creation of shortcuts and other things that was on the phone. So I'll let you guys know when this is done. Okay, so that finished. Now let's go under, you want to find the Google services here. So just click the Google Play books here and click uninstall. And the great thing about these ones that you could always reinstall them just by going to the Google Play Store and downloading these apps. And the nice thing is you could also do this just if you still want to have the apps, but you could also move it to the SD card to free up some storage space. So which is a nice thing that allows you to uninstall instead of having pre-installed inside the firmware. So let's do that again for the Play magazines. And you have to wait for a while depending on the app size as I said again and for the app to grant it user permission. So just click yes on this one as well. Click yes again. And you just want to let this uninstall. Go back to the Google Play TVs and Movies app as well, and you can uninstall that as well. Okay, click uninstall. Again, you don't want to remove the Google Play Store. If you do that, that's a bad thing because then you won't be able to download other apps. But you can re essentially remove all the other Google Plus, where like Google Plus and all that, if you decide that you don't use it. Click yes again. Now if you have a purchase, I would say music from Google directly or videos, then you would have to have the app installed just having the SD card, but I haven't purchased anything from Google from there. So I'm okay. So you want to uninstall this one as well, the Google Play Music. because I use other sources such as Pandora and Spotify. I don't ever use the Google Play Music. So click yes, yes again, let that uninstall. OK, 
Okay, so this one's almost done. And that's about all the apps that I recommend to remove. Uh, you can re remove more, but this is the main apps that I found that hog the most, I would say, uh, RAM and all those other necessities that don't need to be there. So once you do all this, you're basically done. And what you would want to do is reboot your phone. You would be good to go. And in my next video, I'll be showing you guys on how to uh, install Wi-Fi tethering on a rooted phone such as the HTC Evo and the Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch as well. So keep that in mind. I have another video as well on how to uninstall uh, block ads off your device by using an app called Ad Blocker, which is very nice. And another thing I would be showing you is a comparison between the HTC Evo 4G compared to the Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. Once again, I'm JR Flores, and have a great day. Goodbye.